Thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to be reviewing the Cella Italia Model X Green Superflow Bicycle Saddle. Cella Italia's Green Tech production process was developed as an eco-friendly production process to minimize environmental impact, utilize sustainable materials, and achieve competitive price points. The Model X Green Superflow Saddle that we have here today is the first bike saddle to emerge from that process and is constructed from 100% sustainable materials, which is a pretty impressive feat. In terms of packaging, it's pretty simple. You just have a cardboard backing, basic specs printed on there with this nice white dot pattern, and the saddle actually attached on here. We already took off the zip tie that would secure it on here. We'll go ahead and pull this off and go over the specs. So retail price on this is $55.99, so very affordable, and that's pretty impressive for the 100% sustainable design. There's no glue or other non-sustainable materials used here. It has a short nose profile, so you can see it's 145 by 245. This is an L3, according to Celitali's ID match system. It's the only one currently available. It has a super flow cutout, so nice pressure relief channel in the middle, and FEC alloy rail, which is a carbon iron steel alloy for nice durability and competitive pricing. You have a total gel. Uh, padding on top, which is really nice materials, no glue, which is really impressive, and a seamless attachment, so it wraps all the way around with a clean, unmodified bottom, so nice and flat, easy to clean. You also have their flow, a flex control rail system, so you can see how it attaches to the base, provides some nice dampening as well as stiffness. In terms of what comes with the saddle, obviously you get the saddle, you get a little instruction card, and that's about it. Now let's take a look at the Model X weight. So the saddle comes in at 310 or 312 actually. So a little bit lighter than the 315 that's claimed. It's a little bit on the heavier side in terms of racing saddles, but still pretty impressive considering the low price point. Visually, the Model X looks like a much more expensive saddle than the retail price would suggest. You get the aggressive short nose profile and the instantly recognizable Cella Italia styling. So you can see how it sort of weighs curves off on the edges, and even in this L3, which is the wide version, still looks quite compact. You can see it has only the L3 option currently. I'm sure they're going to offer more in the future, but with this one, it's designed to be a little bit wider and allow for a little bit more rotation. You can see it is a matte black finish, or semi-gloss almost, on the base, and then you have the charcoal color total gel padding. So nice gel padding, not too thick, but still soft will dampen out some of the vibrations. And you can see one piece essentially wraps all the way around and has these perforations on there, as well as Cella Italia printed here. You have a little branding on the front as well. And then Green Tech and the Model X printed down the center. Pretty sleek looking overall too. I like the two piece design where you have the gel and it's kind of cut out with the pressure relief channel down the middle. And with the total gel style, you have this seamless interface between the gel and the base so you can see it doesn't wrap around like a traditional saddle would. You have the nice flush flat bottom and integrates right in the top. So really easy to clean, just wipe it down and then you're done. Cell Italia describes this as a waved form. So you can see it slightly curves up at the back, fairly flat in the middle, extra padding on the front, and then it contours on the sides. You have their standard FS, FEC alloy rails, so nothing too fancy. We expect they will probably add some carbon versions in the future. But what sets this apart is the flex control design. So you can see where the rail comes in. It sort of comes through this little bridge with these angled plates, so really well integrated. And it allows you to have that flexibility that you need when you're riding, but still be stiff enough so you're not really flopping around. So nice compromise. And you can see the back also has these exaggerated plates as well as a little slot cut in. So where a traditional one would have rails all the way through, this one you have cutouts so you can put a strap of a saddlebag through here or other accessories. But again, you can see how uh, well integrated the flex control is. In terms of our riding impressions, we found the Model X saddle to be really comfortable. The L3 ID match works with our anatomy, so it was a very good fit. It's a nice wide base with a little bit of a incline near the rear, so it keeps you nice and stable. The total gel padding is also non-slip and quite comfortable, 
so it helps dampen out some of the harshness of the road. And even though it's priced like an entry-level saddle, it's actually quite high performance. It reminds of us a lot of the Fella Italia flight saddles that we've reviewed before, but for the quarter of the price. So definitely a great saddle that you can use in long weekend rides, commuting, or even multi-hour rides as it's quite versatile. Now let's compare the Model X saddle with some other saddles on the market. Here we have the Cell Italia Flight. It's one of their very popular 1990s models. They've actually reintroduced it, so you can still buy this. And you can see it has nearly a flat design, while the Model X has a little bit more of a curvature. But you can see with both of them, they slightly flare up near the rear, and that helps you stay on the saddle. You can also really see the difference between a short nose saddle and a standard saddle here. You can see how the nose really just chopped off. So the original flight was a normal length, and you can see a lot more extension on the front. With the short nose, you have a little more flexibility on the saddle, and it's a really nice modern feature you see with a lot of saddles. And you can see the big difference with the railing as well. So this is a standard rail design. They usually connect into the base of the saddle. While with the Model X, you have this more integrated approach with the flex control. So you can see how they extend down, where this one would just come to a single point. And then the rear, instead of going all the way back, really is integrated into the frame itself. So pretty unique looking. The design of the Model X also reminds of a lot of the Velo. They have something called Atmos shaping. So you can see that same padding design, how it just comes to the edge and then wraps in. So you don't have a seam on the bottom, as you would see here, where it would collect a lot of dirt. So kind of a similar approach as the Velo. The Velo is also an affordable one. This is the Senso. But you can see the Model X more sustainable and actually cheaper as well. Again, the flex control is a unique design. Typically you have a bridge with some sort of internal structure, but here it's much more exaggerated. And then the center cutout, the super flow, gives you that extra pressure relief as well. Now let's go over the pros and cons for the Model X saddle. What we like about it is that it's sustainable construction. The green tech production process is really innovative and great to see within the cycling community. It's also very easy to clean thanks to the seamless interface between the gel padding and the saddle base. So there's nowhere for dirt to hide. You just wipe it down and it looks brand new again. It's also quite comfortable and stable for long rides with that wave-like profile. Some of the cons for the saddle is the fact there are some visible molding lines at the edges. You have to look quite closely to see them, but they are there. Also sizing is limited to the L3 ID match currently, but we do imagine Cell Italia will offer more sizing options in the future. Taking everything into account, we give the saddle a 9.4 out of 10. It's a great sustainable and affordable saddle that offers great high performance. Thanks for watching this review. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can see more content from us on our website at thesweetcyclist.com. As well as follow us on Instagram at thesweetcyclist. This is The Sweet Cyclist reminding you to enjoy the ride.